Well, this is uh, a song that's got a lot of people talking because we're wondering, is he campaigning for or against prostitution? And so Fuse ODG is here with us. I have my Nana doll here with me and I'm always going to look forward to this. And I think you should get one for your daughter as well. It tells a story of the proud African Ghanaian woman. And I must commend you first of all for this. I mean, you've always had this around you, so that's a good idea. But wait, are you saying we should legalize prostitution? No. <laughs> I mean, just I'm, just, I'm just highlighting a reality that is, um, okay. that we tend to not talk about and frown upon. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you do in life, you are, we're all human beings. Yeah. You know, these, these women, a lot of what I've read is, you know, it's a stepping stone for them. Nobody wants to do it. Yeah. You know, so I'm just highlighting the situation and kind of bringing it to the forefront so we can have a conversation about it. Because a lot of times, because it's 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 not legal, yeah. if they're in danger, they can't go to the police exactly. because they'll get arrested. Yes. And you know, it and it takes more than one person for the whole thing to happen. It's another man involved. Exactly. So it's two people involved. So if there was a legal structure to actually protect them, then. Because, you know, it's equal rights, you know. So, so what kind of protection are you looking for? I mean, equal I mean I'm mean, i not, but I'm not, you know, the government and, uh, you know. Yeah, but you could suggest something. I mean, just any, any, it can start by, you know, them not being arrested. <laughs> if, okay. If something's happened to them and, you know, it, there needs to be some sort of like a open door for them to, some sort of, yeah, you know, for help. But the only way they will be arrested is if they make it, you know, um, legal, prostitution becomes legal. I mean, yeah, I mean, if that's what it takes, yeah, then, okay. then definitely the government needs to look into that because wh whether we like it or not, it's a world that that happens, it happens, and it's, it's the oldest trade in, in, yeah. in, in business. Yeah. You know, so why not, you know, put a legal structure around it that can, you know, help the economy, you know, is, and is protect these women. Is that how we want women. to sell Ghana, especially because when we think I mean, of red light district, yeah. then everybody knows that that's... That's the first thing that people talk about yeah. when they're going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Netherlands, right? Yeah, so so that's, a lot of people think that maybe if we legalize it, it's going to open the door for more people to be involved. And now that might be the conversation around Ghana and what to expect when you come. I mean, it doesn't have to be like red light district, you know, because Ghana has so many other treasures that we can focus on. Okay. But I'm just saying, no matter what we do, this world let's still exists. Them. But at yeah. least let's protect this world so they have, a, you know, some sort of, you know, equal rights and mm. some sort of rights if something happens to them or okay. to even stop anything from happening in the first place. Yeah. You know, so it's just a conversation that needs to be had. We've never really had it, not that I'm promoting prostitution, but... Yeah. They exist but that's what, yeah, you know. You've been talking about some very controversial things, if I should say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole BT and boycotting it because you didn't think that they respected, yeah. you know, us enough to want to give us a award on stage and all of that. Yeah. There's this prostitution issue. There have been quite <laughs> a number of them. Um, on social media, I realized that there sort of looked like there was a sabotage yeah. when you were trying to promote yeah, your there's, video. There's, there's been many times where it's hard for people to find me on Instagram because, you know, Instagram sometimes tag some of my videos as some, um, harmful for the community but it's really it's me you know it's because of the things you've it's been me in. fighting for black okay. people me fighting for Africa okay you know but it's it's I think because it's not our platform we don't own these platforms mm -hmm. you know and it's it kind of sometimes it looks like I'm fighting against but I'm really fighting for do you get people. people to support you when you start these campaigns I mean of course the people always share the videos Okay. You know, and that's how these messages get about, you know, the whole, you know, print. But they, they say that Africans are hypocritical because um, we won't openly bear our fangs and, you know, go against anything mm. that's foreign for fear of being sidelined. And yeah. so, yes, some people might agree with you on the side, but then when the trouble comes, everybody wants to run away. Yeah, and but I, yeah, but I want to be an example that you can actually stand up for your right and still be able to be successful and is that not going to affect your brand your music on the international front are, are they not going to red flag you i mean everywhere? we have people like bob marley mm. you know who you know made amazing amazing music but also was fighting for his people yeah you know we had people like fella who made amazing music yeah. and he's also fighting for his people so you might have few so dg who makes who's amazing music it's gonna affect and it's not affecting your music in any way no it's not affecting my music in any way it just means that i have to you know continue to to make the best music that i can make yeah and to continue to gather my people together mm. for, and i need you guys support 
yeah you know to be able to continue to move because really we can create our own everything mm. if we all work together yeah. like you know we, we don't need their approval yeah, exactly you know we need to just we need to approve ourselves and i like that you've been promoting the flag of ghana everywhere i mean birthday and all of that you yeah. know it's it's been great year of return is happening yeah and we have more people they've already started you know finding their way to the shores of ghana yeah, yeah. already this is a good thing and it's you an have amazing the, thing yeah the road to ghana ep which is out to promote yeah you know tell me more about that yes yeah, so as you're saying this year is the year of return and you know i've been one of the main people that's been pushing ghana yeah. to the world so even a lot of people that are coming i'm getting so many messages like i'm finally coming to ghana they're yeah. so excited because i'm always pushing the agenda you know so it's nice that we have a moment where everybody's coming to you know to ghana but we need also need to find a way to um lock down this moment and make it uh, a, a, a lifetime yeah time so we can see lifetime changes okay from it you know so again it's very important that we all come together and see how we we control these guys experience exactly. when they're here you know but again it's a process it's, it's good that they're coming to enjoy themselves and this ep is just something for them to get a taste of ghana okay so everybody on this ep is ghanaian all you right know, awesome. straight bangers on there who are some um, of these has, we have yeah. of course the queen if you on there yeah have manifest on there we have toy boy Prime Minute, Quisiata, MP, article yeah. one Quesiata. yeah so definitely you know i want people to experience ghana in its purest mm. form yeah and even some of the titles there's a song on there the song of a fear is called adabraka i see yeah okay and so it I, talks about the life in adabraka no actually it's actually a whole different concept but you know we named adabraka so people can be curious about oh well, what's Where? that background? So okay. they can start really searching more. So any excuse that I find to push Ghana in, <laughs> yeah, you know, I put it in. My time is up. I have to go. But I know Tina Festival is happening um, yeah. in January as well. What day is it? Yes, Tina Fest is on the third of Jan. Yeah. So you guys make sure you come. And then my new video just dropped serious with Article One and coming at MP. We literally dropped it an hour ago, so you have to go and check it out. Yeah, check it out on YouTube and yeah, YouTube, everywhere yeah. else, right? And also get a Nana doll as well for oh, your yeah. baby. Oh, yeah, very um, important for your queen. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining Thank me. Thank you for having and me. And all the best. Yeah it's, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you. looking great. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you so much. And you look good as well. And yeah. thank you for tuning in to TV3 New Day. 